this is Lauren here with another installment of the Simply Curly channel. Today I'm going to get into a DIY apple cider vinegar rinse for your hair. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and also comment. Now let's get into the benefits of ACV rinses. Um, the benefits of ACV, basically it balances your hair and scalp pH levels by lowering the pH of your scalp and ACV flattens and closes your hair cuticles, which makes your hair smoother and eliminates frizziness and all of that fun stuff. So that is what I'm trying to achieve today. I do this rinse about once a month. I don't really need to do it multiple times within a month, but let's get started. I first start by getting my apple cider vinegar with mother in it. I prefer the Bragg's brand, but this is what I had. Next, you want to get some water. So I grabbed a water bottle. Um, and I'm going to use my water bottle to pour this in my hair. And so now I'm going to pour a little bit of the water out of the water bottle to make space for the apple cider vinegar to mix in there. So now I'm pouring a little bit out and then I'm going to be pouring the apple cider vinegar into the bottle. And you want to make sure you are shaking up the apple cider vinegar because that mother is at the bottom and that's where all the nutrients and everything is in the apple cider vinegar. So you do want to shake it up so what you are pouring into the bottle is actually the best portion of the apple cider vinegar. And yes, it doesn't smell good, ladies. So don't put it too close to your nose like I did. And then you just close up and shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Once you're done shaking, you're ready to apply. So I get a towel. This is a microfiber towel um, that I'm going to put around my shoulders because it will get messy. Um, and then you use the bottle to pour over your hair. I don't need this section because my hair is so short. But if you do have longer hair, I would suggest getting clips for your hair and then pouring in each section. So that's what we're about to get into. Now that we've rubbed all that in and our hair is saturated, you grab a plastic cap and put it over your head. We're going to allow this ACV to just set in our hair for a little bit. We're not just going to put it in and rinse it right out. We're going to let it settle and do its magic. So we put that cap on. I just get the super cheap ones from Sally's. They come with a whole bunch in one pack. And once you get all your hair in there, you just let it sit. For 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I'll be back. So it has been 10 minutes. 
I am back now. I am taking y'all in my shower and showing you guys the rinse out. It's easiest like this. So I'm basically taking everything off in the shower, um, rinsing this out. Um, and just so you guys know, I am only doing a co-wash today. I am not doing a shampoo and then conditioner. Um, to be honest, I thought I grabbed shampoo. <laughs> And I ended up grabbing my tea tree um, oil conditioner. So I was like, oh, well, might as well just do a co-wash. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I didn't have crazy product buildup, so I didn't feel too crazy about just doing a co-wash. If you guys want to know more about co-washing, please let me know. But enjoy the rest of this rinse out. Now that I'm out of the shower, you guys can see the product and the result of the ACV rinse. And all my curls are really popping. I do have multiple hair textures throughout my hair, as you can see. It's more textured at the front and then more loose curls at the nape of my neck. But my scalp feels super clean and I didn't even need shampoo, which is awesome when you're avoiding sulfate shampoos and things like that. But thank you so much for viewing curls. Until next time, peace and love.